Hey yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to a new video on my channel. I hope you're all well and today we are introducing in some form still very late to the game but an F122 tips series. Because I thought why not just the small things that make it easier to drive for the final few weeks before the new F1 game. This will also apply to the new F1 game but in a different regard because it's just driving techniques basically that apply everywhere but in some games more and some games less. I will do another one on there. But, short shifting, F122, very important because we all know F122 traction is not the nicest experience that we've had so far from F1 games. And with this technique, basically how the name already implies, you're shifting shorter. So, you're shifting below the optimal RPM range to drop the RPM quicker and to maximize traction. So, for example, in the hairpin, you can accelerate in third gear. But third gear is so snappy, especially with this year's game's physics. In fourth gear, it's just a little bit easier and the power output is still more or less the same and very beneficial to get consistent and optimal lap times whilst pushing because you need to be comfortable whilst pushing, and especially in quality laps. It is doable in lower gears, but it's not the best, in my opinion. And consistency is way more important than anything else. All right. Rule number one. I will show you now a lap without short shift then a lap with optimal short, sh short shifting and then i'm gonna show you a lap where i'm short shifting too much because you can do that and that's gonna ruin your lap time so let's get into this it's gonna be a really short and compact video hope you're all gonna enjoy it if you enjoy this and if you find it helpful you know what you have to do hit the like button comment what you want to see next and whatever uh, I reset my time trial go so you can see exactly what's going on with the Delta to understand what's going on. So here, fifth gear is optimal. Still good traction and now let's have a look. Still a high speed corner so fifth gear is also better. But in this one, we're staying in third gear. You can see, you can hear already the car I get a little bit of wheel spin, a lot of on throttle rotation, it's good, but it's slower. Now also Aqua Mineral is really tricky. Fourth gear. Not too bad, I, I actually accidentally short shifted a little bit too early. I didn't want to. But you will see the difference in the delta when I'm short shifting out of heavy traction zones. Last corner also a big short shifting zone into fifth usually. We are not doing this right now. And the lap time is there. 114.494. Let's see what we can do with short shifting and if we are going any faster, especially in the traction zones. Whoop, that was bad. So, when you're short shifting, usually you're doing it just before you hit the heavy acceleration zones. Not too late. You really want the benefit from the higher gear. So third and fourth. And even though I had a bad corner, like there was a really bad corner, you could see I was gaining time. I was just too early on the apex. Oh, that is a really terrible driven lap. There you can see it. Holy crap. This is exactly the benefit. I short shifted already at the apex. I short shifted already at the apex. Just before I'm accelerating like aggressively. And it helped me so much. And this one as well. So I kind of messed up the lap. But I think you guys could see what I mean. And now we are going to overdo the short shifting. So you can see what happens if you're having a too low RPM because you're just shifting too much. To make it too easy. Oops. So sixth gear already a bad line, but also with that a terrible exit. You get a good exit, but a too slow one. You can see how much time we are losing down this whole straight where we are full power. It's just too slow.
Same thing applies here again. Very, very slow exit. Oh, well, that was just terrible. Don't, don't care about that corner. And again, we're just losing so much time. Every time, around half a tenth, depending on the straight line. And imagine we would lose this all down this whole straight. So, you can see the benefit of optimizing the timing of your short shifts. Usually, it's just at the apex, right before you start accelerating, and especially before accelerating aggressively. If you time it too late, it will actually unsettle the car more. So be careful. And don't overdo the short shifts. If you need it because you're just struggling and maybe you want to turn off traction control, you can actually use it, but be prepared. Your lap times might be a little bit slower than usual. It's still a good way to learn how to go on the power. But don't make it a bad habit because habits form quickly. And this is exactly what you need to do to improve your lap time by short shifting on F122. I hope this helps you out and you know what to do to support the channel. So I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Have a lovely day. Peace.